Long time no see, everyone. Hisashi Buri, tanto tiempo sin verte. It's your old major Kargon back at it again. This time with a closer look at these. My collection of Yoji Yamamoto staff shirts. So what is a staff shirt, you may ask? Well, I'll try and answer it the best I can. But basically, when there is a fashion show, there's a lot of people that help put it on. A lot of people that organize it, a lot of people that, you know, are the moving parts that get to what it is that you see on video or in photo. The staff of the show, the, the, the people that are responsible for making it happen. And for a lot of different designers, they will have a shirt or a garb that they wear during the show that denotes that they are part of the show itself. And with Yoji shows and also seen in some com pieces, they'll have a print on the back that sort of lists the designer, lists the year and lists the season that this specific shirt is from. And Yoji has had a couple of these throughout the years, but of more recent time, put out a few more that are possible to be purchased as part of collections as well. And one of them, I guess that one of the main ones I will speak about has been reproduced, not exactly every year, but across multiple seasons since its inception, as it is quite a popular piece, even though they mostly all do look exactly the same. But yeah, hopefully that's answered what a staff shirt is for you. And to make it super simple, it's just a, a shirt that denotes the staff that works and works at or on something. You probably see it out around in the city when you're at a convention or something, people be wearing a shirt that just says staff on the back. This is just a take on that, but in the more fashion sense. Fashion. Fashion. So I first discovered these sorts of shirts whilst on my journey throughout all this fashion stuff a few years ago, maybe like 2020, 2021. And it was the OG staff shirt that had caught my eye initially. And coming from a background of really going to a lot of, you know, like hardcore shows, I love back prints. I used to love that whole trend that was just so big in the 2000s of, you know, like either like chest print or like front print and then just huge back print, be it lyrics or like a mosh photo, that kind of thing. And so seeing that there were like back print, like solely back print Yoji pieces, had me very, very curious about it. And I did end up getting a version of that staff shirt that I have loved ever since. I've had it ever since. It is one of my favorite pieces. I don't wear it a lot, but let's discuss it soon as we're going to go through the four that I have. I do kind of go through phases where I'm like, I'm going to collect them all. I'm going to catch them all like Pokemon. And the sun is, the sun is setting. Look at that. Beautiful. It is the golden hour for this golden video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did go through a point where I was trying to collect them all. But what I did notice was that there was one, the ground Y one, I think is very, very unappealing. It just doesn't look very nice. Here it is. And as you can see in like the back text, it just isn't laid out properly. So it's going across multiple lines and it's also made of a polyester nylon She's just not nice either. I just, I just don't like this one. So I never went for that one. And then there is this black scandal one that has a zip front and also a black scandal logo on the back that can be white on black or it can be black on black, which is the one that I really liked. I actually saw one in Japan and tried it on. It did not fit me. So very glad I never bought one just randomly because wouldn't have been able to wear it. But yeah, that one's here for you to see as well. Very, very pretty though. I do like the, the zip front. So let's get into the shirts that I have. This is the first one I'd like to show off. I have never seen one like this. Before. I mean, I've only seen one other like this one before. This one is a Wise The Collection Showcase with the address of the show at the bottom here. It doesn't give us any sort of date for it. But also, since it is a showcase, we do have a Paris address and also a London address. So I'm going to assume that those are the Yoji stores in either city there. 
It is a pretty standard shirt. However, it is slightly oversized. We do have the wise tag there. And it's not oversized enough to be a long shirt, but it is, as you'll see in the video of this on body, it is bigger than a regular shirt. And as such, it can be a bit odd to style because it is just so big. So I've taken to wearing it as like an outer layer for warmer weather. Highest button is up here. Otherwise, pretty standard shirt. There's not a lot going on the front, not a lot going on the inside. I can show you the tag here. This is a size two cotton. Wonder if we have any warnings here. Heat may cause discoloration on the printed parts. That is the main warning that we have seen here as well. But yeah, this is an interesting one. When I did see it, I, I was a bit shocked because I've never come across one, but did pick it up and am happy with it. It's a good outer layer for warmer weather. And as it has started to get warmer here, and by warmer, I mean like 18 degrees Celsius, I have worn it a couple of times. So do enjoy this one. Following the wise, the collection, the showcase staff shirt. The next one we have is this black scandal staff shirt. One of two Black Scandal staff shirts that I have, but here we can see on the back, the print is of two hands holding hand, two arms holding hands with the Yoji logo. This is all in gray. Yoji logo across in diagonal. And then we have the date and information at the bottom here that reads 20th of June, 2019. And then the address in Paris and also the time, which is at 3.30. Can see that all there which is very very nice i do love the back print on this shirt a lot it's got really interesting little textures to the entire thing throughout which are very very nice on the back look well, on the front you can see the black scandal logo patch there there's not a lot else about this one. This is more of a regular length shirt, which is quite nice. So I can sort of wear it with whatever. For me personally, though, the sizing, because I have, I have a fat neck, um, <laughs> it is, it is a bit hard to like button it all the way up should I want to. But if you're trying to just have a more casual look, this one works just fine as well. I'll show you the tag. Also a size, it's also a size two, which is quite interesting, to be honest. This one's really interesting though. There is another variation of this shirt where that print is actually on the front chest area here. That one is really, really neat as well. However, I have never seen that one for under $600 and I do not, do not care enough <laughs> to get that one. And also it's, it's yeah, basically having two pairs of the same shirt. I do like it with the back print though. I think it's very, very, I think it's delightful. I really like it. I do like the two hands being held together. It's just cute. I, it's one of my favorites. Okay. And then from that one, we come to the OG, the one that I got first, which is the put on staff shirt. You have definitely seen this one floating around, be it somewhere on the internet in like fits or videos or in any of my outfits that I put on, but this is a gorgeous shirt. So we have the written logo on the top, then Yoji Om in just bold writing, and then underneath the 2016 date, along with the time of 6 p.m. in Paris as well. This is a beautiful shirt. And this is one that has been continuously reproduced in different materials and things. This one is with cotton arms and then a cupro body. So you can see we do not have any sort of patch in there because the patch on put on tops, well, I guess like more blazery type outerwear kind of things is on the inside here as well. It is a size three. So they are all a size three. It's just a one size fits all type deal for this staff shirt. And I got this one for, 
I think it was a good deal. I generally have forgotten because I've had it for quite some time. So the Kupro body gives it a very like, I'm not sure if you can see it in the light, a bit of like a sheen. And it does play well with the more muted like cotton arms of it all as well. But do love that back print. And important things to note of this being a different shirt is that it's an asymmetrical front. So the front of the shirt is shorter, whereas the back is longer and drapes down. This makes it really, really lovely in motion. We can see we have side slip there. Gorgeous in motion when you're moving around in this one. And we also have little strap at the top of the collar as well where you can button it across to, you know, you can have it more secure or you could even only button it one across, but it's just that little double option across the collar should you want to there as well. This is usually the staff shirt that people look for when they're going to get a staff shirt. There's other options in just full cotton. There's ones with like a sort of grayish body with pinstripes that I've seen. There's one that I know this is wrinkled, but it's in a purposely wrinkled fabric that I suppose you could take to get pressed but the whole idea is that it is already just wrinkled it looks pretty cool as well there's a lot of put on stuff that I've seen also some site stuff that is in that sort of wrinkled design it just gives a nice texture it's pretty neat but yeah this is a beautiful one very very happy with it if I was going to do anything I would personally like to switch to a full cotton one but that's because for me, I get hot very quickly. I say this in so many videos, but it's true. I get hot very quickly and I would rather not be super hot because it's uncomfortable. So I think a regular cotton one would be A-OK. -okay. And then lastly, we have what is my favorite, the 2019 Femme Staff Shirt. It, I don't know whether I'd call this a shirt because it's basically a coat. It's so long and oversized, but just look at this. It is such, it is such a gorgeous piece. We have the information on there, spring, summer, 2019, Fem, Yoji Yamamoto, and then the date, the 28th of September on the bottom. What's really, really gnarly about this one though, is that this back is all hand painted. So all of these staff shirts are slightly unique to each other because that print, the print, the design is hand painted. And you can sort of, you can definitely tell like in like with just like the little marks all over and up close that it has been painted on, but it's so neat. I love how this looks. And the details for this piece do not end just at that. We have the typical Black Scandal tag there. We have side pockets on this. So that's why I think it's more of a coat than a shirt. Side pockets and in a really, really neat, feature so here's the collar right this whole collar can be removed it has like snap buttons across the entire way through and then also just like a proper button on the end on either end here that collar can be removed so there can be a collarless jacket which is really neat i've not seen a lot of pieces with that option i have not really worn it that way. However, it is a thing that you can do should you want to do. Don't know why that's an option, but it makes it more like a, like a cloak, a robe, but this is the Femme style shirt. This is a piece that I will never get rid of. I love this. It's such a nice outer layer. It is huge. It's billowy. You can layer under it. It's lovely. This is also full cotton. There is the tag there. It's also a size two. I don't know what it is about the black scandal pieces and being size two compared to the size three of the other one. Let's see if this has any warnings. Uh, yeah, don't leave it wet for too long. It could be easily scratched by nails. 
Please handle with care. Friction and repeated use will gradually alter the aspect of the fabric. So that's curious. What's also curious about this piece though, and this is a slight little, I don't know, nerding out kind of thing, is that although that this is a black scandal piece, right? And black scandal pieces usually have the H code being from put on. This begins with an N, so it's a noir piece. And potentially, and my theory for this is because it is a femme staff shirt, Yoji Noir skews towards more feminine sizing, so it could be more directed towards them. But it is just interesting to see a tag begin with an N on a black scandal piece, but usually begins with an H. It's probably irrelevant to a lot of people, but that's just something I noticed. And I know that at least one of you will be like, that's interesting. <laughs> So I appreciate you for letting me get nerdy about all this. <laughs> so those are the four shirts. We've had a look at them, not on body. Let's put them all on body before we run out of light because the light, yeah, the light is going. So let's do it now. We ran out of light. <laughs> the golden hour was short lived, but that is all the four shirts on body. Which is your favorite one? I genuinely find like the Black Scandal Femme staff shirt the most interesting one for me to wear with an outfit as a coat. I love the Yoji Put on one. It works really well as a standalone outer layer as well because it just has a lot of 
different things going on that just by itself makes an outfit look interesting. The Black Scandal back print one is just a nice shirt. I just wish that the collar buttoned up a bit better because leaving it one button down fits fine, but it's it kind of just like, I just have a big neck. It goes a bit too wide that you have to sort of take that option to button it up or else it may look a bit weird compared to like some of the other black shirts that I have. The side shirts that I love do not have a similar issue. And the wise one is just a really nice casual outer layer. Like I feel that a lot of very relaxed oversized looks. So really big shirt into like really wide leg pants that looks really nice with even if you sort of tucked it in just at the front because it has that sort of billowy silhouette to it. So they're all good. Curious about which your favorite one is, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all take care of yourself. And as always, be fun, have safe. And remember, don't do anything I'd do, except definitely check out a staff shirt. If you can find one, there are a lot of, they're very interesting. And also like, you could also make one for any sort of thing that you're doing as well. Like these are all just interesting suggestions of designs. They're quite basic, but they do, I don't know. As I said, is it the hardcore kid in me from yesteryear being like, hell yeah, let's have some Yoji gang vocals going on here about how much we love Rin. <laughs> All right, you'll take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.